Hello everyone, it's Krithika. Welcome to this course where we will be learning about Web3 and Ethereum development. So, I am Krithik Shah, a learner, front-end developer and recently I am in love with blockchain and Web3. So, in this course, I will be guiding you all to be the better Web3 developer. So, let's begin. Before learning uh, Web3, we must know few things about like uh, what is blockchain and how it works. So I already prepared, uh, f I already found some uh, good video sources where you can learn about blockchain and uh, Ethereum, how blockchain works. So I will be giving this link to in the description. Plus. Uh, we will, I will be creating some uh, playlist uh, where uh, everything will be in just in in a flow where you can just uh, play next video and you will learn all that so make sure you will pause those uh, playlist it will be the first link uh, in the description so the second prerequisite will be how, how ethereum works and what are the updates in ethereum 2.0 and how ethereum blockchain works that's the point third uh, prerequisite is what e why we are shifting to web3 and what are the differences in web3 and web2 and web3 it will help you to make sure uh, why you are learning this a path without a goal is just pointless so uh, you must uh, know why are we learning this the fourth prerequisite is uh, you must know at least one programming language uh, like python javascript java but my personal two favorite languages are javascript and python i will suggest that and if you are a front-end developer or a back-end developer like uh, i know some basic front-end so i was working in with javascript a lot and so that will that wa was very great, uh, useful for me in learning web3 so if you are uh, know some programming english that is a great start i will just recommend you to learn solidity it is it will be our first step to learn uh, move to the web3 uh, so all the web3 uh, main logic where is written in uh, written for blockchain is in smart contracts so solidity is a programming language which help us to write those smart contracts smart contract is nothing like uh, uh, nothing but uh, of a script which we have wrote uh, and someone uh, uh, using their metamask uh, someone using their wallet will uh, use those functions and smart uh, use those smart contract function to do something like uh, if i want to transfer my money to say my brother jayesh then i'm i will use the transaction function so in my smart contract so that's how we can use uh, smart smart contracts uh, uh, and those smart contract was built because of solidity and there are other programming language like uh, viper uh, which is very similar to python uh, which i was heard uh, so there are many uh, different there are different so uh, program uh, smart contract languages uh, like so uh, solidity viper and different uh, blockchain use different programming language uh, like uh, in solana they use rust but in ethereum mat polygon matic and other evm compatible chain we use solidity so while learning about solidity we will be learning about remix ide uh, where we are writing our code and deploying it from there uh, and our wallet what are web3 wallets like metamask and others Te and the difference between testnet and met mainnet uh, so everything uh, in blockchain is a transaction and transaction uh, doing a transaction costs some money so we don't want to spend money in while we are learning so we have to use our testnet which is a dummy uh, blockchain for developers so we are using that and even in testnet we use some ethers or some transit for doing transition we need some uh, thing like some uh, currency 
uh, we will get those currency from faucets so there are some faucets for the key be for uh, every touch net so we will be seeing where can we find those uh, ethers or currencies where we can you we will be using for transaction then we will see how each transaction work like from creating a smart contract is a transaction then sending some using a smart contract function is also a transaction and sending a money from one wallet to another is also a function so uh, is also a transaction so we will see how this transaction works in blockchain uh, in this uh, tutorial with this uh, we have we will complete our solidity and the next step will be uh, learning about hard hat and ethers till now we will learn about how smart contracts are built now we will uh, see how smart contracts are deployed and testing uh, how we test those smart contracts and how to connect smart contracts with our front end so hard hat hard hat and ether are used for th these purposes and it's a little bit complex but I am learning it right now. I will teach you later. So, as a front-end developer, I really like uh, this React.js and Next.js combination, and I personally recommend using Next.js uh, with React.js, and because we can use React.js hooks uh, and Next.js uh, routing and other things, uh, other great features which are co which comes with Next.js and little bit of node.js and how node.js works and we will use uh, our we will connect our front end uh, means we will connect our next.js application with uh, our smart contracts and blockchain using ether.js and we will be seeing how uh, th there are some pre-built uh, templates like scaffold eth and plugins like uh, wagami.js uh, which will help us to build uh, web3 application very easily then we will learn about chakra we will use chakra ui and tailwind to build our ui element means to build our website front end very quick and fast and we will using we will be using tailwind to give necessary styling to our front end uh, like to our application so with this i think we will cover all the basics of uh, web3 and we it's it will be our time to show what we can do and we will be building real world projects with this so follow the playlist and you will be learning great thing and it will be re really worthy for your time thank you